So, no, Dr. Neil deGrasse Tyson, I have a question about you. Neil, call me Neil. Neil, okay. Yes, thank you. What do you think of this new way of doing astronomy, where instead of capturing light, we're capturing particles like neutrinos, cosmic rays, and gravitational waves. Where do you think this new way of astronomy will take us? Yeah, so, so much of the last 400 years has been broadening our access to windows of the electromagnetic spectrum, starting with visible light and Galileo, and then William Herschel. Oh my gosh, he did an experiment. He wanted to know what temperature each color of light was, just to even ask that question. So he closed the curtains, had a beam of light come in, put it through a spectrum, had red, orange, yellow, green, blue, violet, put thermometers in each color, but then you need a control thermometer. So he put that one on the side of the spectrum where there's no light hitting it. And every measurement he took, that control thermometer had the highest temperature measured. This was spooky. What's going on? He put it just on the other side of the red, red, orange, yellow, green. It's just a, and he said, my, and he put it right over here, and it went back to a normal room temperature. Put it back in, the temperature went up. He said, I have discovered light unfit for vision. That's what he called it. He discovered infrared light. Invisible light. And then, and, and then we're off to the races. Then on the other side is, is ultraviolet and x-rays, gamma rays, uh, microwaves, radio waves. And so we, we now have detectors for the entire electromagnetic spectrum.